going on everybody welcome back to the channel i have six blaster boxes of aew series 2 the 2022 version we're looking for jade cargill cm punk any mjf card we can get the acclaimed rookie cards there are so many good things that we can pull in these boxes so we are going to go ahead and rip right into it there are eight cards per pack eight packs per box so that means you get 64 cards per box if i can get it open oh it opens from the side haven't opened an AEW blaster box in quite some time so oh i got a pack in there that would have been that would have been pretty bad so we'll go ahead sit these right here and get into this first pack now from what i have heard the blasters have been pretty good so far and it's usually a guaranteed hit. We got a Hangman Canvas short print, number 31. I've heard that they are a guaranteed hit, but I don't really guarantee anything from Blaster Boxes myself. So there's no way of really knowing. But it seems to be a guaranteed hit. And the pyros are all facing backwards in these boxes. We got Tully Blanchard there. Whoops. Put that over to the side. Main features Chris Jericho. Ooh, Jade Cargo. And a tag team Young Bucks. But I opened up, what was it, three hobby boxes, I think, on the channel. Not last week, a couple weeks ago. I was out of town all last week, so that's why there haven't been any videos. How about a gold main features CM Punk? So I don't remember exactly what I uploaded, but that is the reason for no uploads. But we did open three hobby boxes. We pulled a Pyro Auto. We pulled a Breakouts Max Caster and a gold CM Punk Relic. So not too bad of boxes. We got a Pyro Anthony Bowens. Everybody loves the acclaimed. We all know that. Sorry about that. Pauls, gotta love scam callers. Because that's all the calls nowadays. Looks like we got a pyro in this pack as well. Varsity Blondes. We got a pyro Sammy Guevara. So we've got a hit. Not like a big hit, but like a, a lower hit every single pack so far. Starting off with the short print canvas of Hangman. So that's pretty cool. But obviously, we are looking for the autos, the numbered cards. Gold Santana, not going to cut it today. How about a gold main features Keith Lee, Santana and Ortiz, and a red velvet card for the PC, and Kenny Omega. Two packs left in this first box. I didn't realize it was going to be this many packs to open. We got MJF in the back. Love to pull an MJF autograph one day we got a dax harwood canvas not a short print but everybody loves ftr malachi black penelope ford and a base mjf so we got what six boxes we got eight packs per box so we're looking at a green pyro back here which is a blaster box exclusive and it is Brian Danielson, numbered out of 399. Not the lowest numbered card by any means, but still a blaster exclusive hit. We'll go ahead and get into our next box. Well, I was going to try to do some math there. We got six boxes, eight packs per box. So we're looking at 48 packs. So it's going to be kind of a longer unboxing, but I don't think you guys will mind that. We got shorted a pack, did we? Oh, no, there's five on that side, three on the other. We will keep it rolling regardless. Let's see what we got in the front here. We got Chris Statlander, not bad. Darby Allen, Matt Hardy, Gold Eddie Kingston, a Pyro Christian Cage. Still not used to him being an AEW. We've got a debut dates of Paul White and a CM Punk base. Paul White, better known as The Big Show. Still weird seeing him in a different company. So I guess we got our numbered card per box so far. 
with the Brian Danielson Green Pyro. We've got a cold Chris Stadler. We've got a gold Ray Phoenix main features. Not bad. Oh, Ethan Page and Mark Henry. So the Green Pyro would be our hit for that box. Also, the short print canvas is definitely a way to go. we got some red back there. Is this an out of 100 card? It is. It is. 2.0. That's not bad, actually. Numbered 90 of 100. Not bad. Main feature is CM Punk, Nick Jackson, and Jungle Boy Jack Perry. So, realistically speaking, that is our hit of the box. But let's see if we get a little bonus love. We'll fly through the rest of this, considering... We already pulled that. There's a Max Caster rookie, Tony Schiavone, and a Matt Seidel. For those that watched the Hobby Box opening, we pulled a Pyro Auto of Matt Seidel. I think I said that, but if I didn't, there it is again. So we'll keep it rolling. Ryu Mizunami of the Pyro Parallel. The Pyros were definitely a, uh, a hit in the first set. The Pyros and the Dynamites. Just doing a little organizing just to make sure everything is a-okay -okay. because we are almost done with our second blaster box. Just a couple packs left and then we will go on to our third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then we'll be done. UD Canvas Christian Cage, number 27, not a short print. That is okay. We've already got our hit from the box. It is a exclusive 2.0 card definitely not gonna complain about that lance archer ud canvas ty conti number three in the set penta l zero m main feature and then finish it off with a red velvet for the pack if you have any numbered red velvet cards or like low numbered stuff of her oh that's our first Britt baker of red velvet hit up my man tim jacob on Instagram, Pyro Young Bucks, he will most likely buy it from you. And if you can't find him on Instagram, did I say Facebook? If you can't find him, just hit me up and I will lead you directly to him. Still looking to hit a nice Jade Cargill card and would like to hit a still MJF. But I think everybody wants to hit a nice MJF out there right now. So we will figure it out. We got Rio, Stu Grayson, Varsity Blonde. Is Stu Grayson even with the company still? I know he appeared on Dynamite not too long ago. But he left. So I don't know what the deal is there. It's all a little confusing to me. So I can't believe we got that nice green pyro of Brian Danielson, a UD Canvas Private Party, number 15 in the set. Main feature, Sammy Guevara, the acclaimed. Everybody loves him. And if you don't, you're lying to yourself. Let's be real. I did not realize how many cards there were in a blaster. So, these bad boys are adding up fast over here on the sideline. Gold Ethan Page, not bad. And a Hangman Adam Page Pyro. And if you're sleeping on these Pyros, I feel bad for you because they ended up being pretty nice from the first set. I know a lot of people were going for complete sets. So you don't want to miss out, that's for sure. Ruby Soho, Mark Henry. If you have any nice Ruby Soho cards, also hit me up. I, uh, I have a guy interested in those so pretty much if you hit anything nice i have a person for it because it's just how we do we have connections out here but for the figure fans i do have the top 10 worst aew figures top 10 best aew figures and maybe maybe uh the top 10 most anticipated figures of the year, or next year rather. 
the top ones and the worst ones of this year and the most anticipated for next year. But we don't even really know if the line is going to make it because they're not putting out anything. So, was this a Pyro Lance Archer? Sure is. Are the I think the Dynamites are hobby exclusive. Could be wrong in that. I'll have to look and see if the... Yes, the Dynamites are hobby exclusive. Until someone proves me wrong. Which could be done very easily. Andrade El Elo, Alex Reynolds, Taz, Gold CM Punk. Main features Cash Wheel. Oh, shoot! Whoa! We got an MJF autograph. Look how terribly centered this is. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Do I even have. Hold on. MJF, Ty Conti. We gotta we gotta find something for for that. I had to go get a sleeve and a top loader for that. That was absolutely insane. Holy crap. Oh my god. Why are the pyros backwards in the packs, but the the autographs are not? We got an MJF autograph. Well, there's our hit for the box. Probably our hit of the day. I don't think it's going to get better than that in the next three boxes. So we will kindly... Ruby Soho, UD Canvas, not a short print, or four in the set. We will fly through the rest of this because... Holy crap. That is my first MJF card autograph. I have two figures signed by him, but that is a first for cards. So, that is pretty insane. Sorry if you're wearing headphones and I screamed. That was exciting. That was exhilarating. Oh, wow. Okay. Our green pyro Santana and Ortiz at a 399. Numbered 232? Yes, 232. I think that's going to be our hit of the box. But we will fly through it as quick as we can. Because I don't want to keep you guys waiting. We still have two more to go after this. Gold Bryce Brims were a UD Canvas Nick Jackson. 38 short print. Let's go. Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, and Sammy Guevara. If you have any Sammy Guevara cards and you want to get rid of them, hit up King Louie on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. Hit him up everywhere. Luchasaurus, Gold, Brian Danielson, Pyro, Sting. Main features CM Punk, Tony Schiavone, and Matt Seidel. Wow. That's a... Uh, wow. MJF freaking autograph. That's uh, that's nice. Definitely not going to complain about that. Let's see what our hit of the pack was. And it looks like it was the gold main features of Chris Jericho. Also, for anybody wanting to do multiple box openings, gold hook. There we go. Oh, and a Chris Statlander relic. So we got two hits in this box. It is a base mat relic, but it could be worse. For anybody wanting to do multiple box openings, definitely have a big trash can beside you because this crap gets ridiculous very fast. Two hits in one box. We got the MJF autograph in the last box. Let's just keep it rolling. Gold Ty Conti main features, Anthony Bowens, and the Blade. I'd like to see the Butcher and the Blade win the tag titles at some point. Jake Hager, Nyla Rose, Arn Anderson, Scorpio Sky, a Pyro, John Moxley. The the bad part about that now is like every time you see the backwards card, you know it's going to be a Pyro. And a Jade Cargill. One thing I wish that Upper Deck would do is the rookie card shield. 
Because I think that takes away from people, especially for their rookie cards. We've got Santana and Ortiz. UD Canvas, number 24 in the set. I would like to know, or, you know, just everybody would like to know the official rookie cards. Just a little minor complaint. Because it could always be worse. But you know how collectors are. I'm starting to notice a trend in what the hit is in each box. And it is one of the cards that are aligned in the middle border. So I'm going to mix them up. And then go from there. Because I think the people are going to be anticipating where the hit is. Hangman Adam Page, Rick Knox, John Moxley. Hangman Adam Page, gold, and a green pyro of Vicky Guerrero. Number 271 out of 399. I think the green pyros are going to be a little more popular than we anticipate. Because of such a high number to them. But they are clean. Definitely a nice color. And the purple pyros from the hobby boxes. Those are nice too. We gold debut dates of Paul White, Lucha Brothers, Jay Lethal, and a Frankie Kazarian. Still not, cannot believe the crap that we've hit so far. MJF base autograph. Yes, it is a base autograph. But... An MJF base autograph is still better than a lot of normal autographs. So, I mean, no. A base MJF autograph is still better than a lot of numbered autographs. Or parallel autographs from other sports. And, oh, we got a Santana. No, we got an Ortiz relic, Matt relic, base. The AEW autographs are so much harder to hit than... WWE ones because they are not guaranteed per boxes, which I don't like, but they hold their value a little bit more. UD Canvas CM Punk, number 28 in the set. They do hold their value because they aren't guaranteed. Like I said, though, I don't like that they're not guaranteed, but I guess I understand it. Because you can get like low number WWE autographs and they're like the same price as a base Brit or a yeah, a base Britt Baker autograph. Pyro Blade, Adam Cole debut dates, Johnny Hungy, and Max Caster. Going to our second to last pack in the box. Gold FTR, Pyro Keith Lee. Pyro looks really good since he has a blank background. Main features Matt Jackson, Private Party, and Cash Wheeler. Kind of like his old name, Dash Wilder, better than Cash Wheeler. But that's the story for another day. Orange Cassidy, Billy Gunn, Gold Sting, Powerhouse Hobbs, UD Canvas, number 22 in the set, Nyla Rose, Tony Schiavone, Matt Seidel, and The Butcher. I'd like to pull a Butcher autograph one day, or possibly buy one. Because his autograph is literally just says Butch with an exclamation point. Did that cut? Yeah, it did that cut. I have a completely different room set up now. So if you guys would like to see an updated room tour, let me know. Did we get an extra pack? Four here? No. Okay. Go ahead and mix them up. Our last blaster. If you guys like to see an updated room tour, let me know. I have a new filming setup. I have a couple new decorations courtesy of some sponsors. So uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Because I'm definitely looking to do some end of the year stuff here on the channel. Try and keep the uploads going steady. Going on Anderson, a UD Canvas Brian Danielson, number 20. That's a cool Ortiz card. The Blade, Keith Lee. And a Jade Cargill base. Like, Jade could have really benefited from the rookie card shield. Ortiz, Dustin Rhodes, Gold Jake Hager, Red Velvet main features, Gold Keith Lee main features, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, and Sammy Guevara. 
We had that Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, and Sammy Guevara lineup already today. So I think the once you open a bunch, you start to see like coalitions. So I think that's the word for it. But you get to you start to see a sequence. Main features Anthony Bowens. A gold debut dates CM Punk, John Silver, Max Caster, and Tony Schiavone. Pretty sure after all this, I will have a full base set, which I kind of need to keep one, but I just have not done with this set yet. Gold Dax Harwood, a UD Canvas Mark Henry, number 14 in the set. A really cool looking Ricky Starks card. Main features, The Butcher, Griff Garrison, and Matt Jackson. At first glance, I thought that was Nick. I don't think they would have messed up the name on there. Red Velvet in the back, not bad. Brian Pillman, Jim Ross, QT Marshall, Gold Jamie Hader. We got a Green Pyro. We'll save that for the end. Since we know that's probably our hit of the box. Pack, Butcher in the Blade, Dax Harwood, Nyla Rose. Got a Pyro, Ray Phoenix. A main features MJF. A Tully Blanchard and Anthony Bowens. Still our hit of the box, MJF autograph, or hit of the video. Gold Jade Cargo, not bad. A Ryu Mizunami Relic. Debut dates Brian Danielson and a Matt Seidel. Our last pack here, then we will look at who our green pyro is. John Moxley, Sting. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, The Blade, I'm assuming a Pyro, Paul White, followed by a main features, Paul White. Never going to get used to calling him that. You will always be the big show to me and everybody else, I'm pretty sure. Or Captain Insano. So, let's go ahead and look. We have Red Velvet in the back. We have Santana and Ortiz. We have a main features... Hangman, and I think that's Dax. No, Dante Martin. Not bad. Let's go ahead and look at our hits of the video. We have Green Pyro, Dante Martin. We have a Ryu Mizunami Relic, Ortiz Relic, a Green Pyro of Vicky Guerrero, a Chris Statlander Base Relic, a Green Pyro, Santana, and Ortiz. Green Pyro, Brian Danielson. A Exclusives, number 200, of 2.0. A Hangman Adam Page short print. And our hit of the video, none other than a base MJF autograph. But that is going to be it for today. I think the blasters are definitely better than the hobby boxes. Also a lot more affordable. I'd rather pay $20, $25 a blaster box than $100 and something for a hobby box. But like I said, that's going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.